All right, guys, last step in our, uh, what do we call it, makeover, uh, overhaul, uh, pimp my right, no, uh, the starter overhaul. Uh, we went through, put some new bushings in, we cleaned everything on the inside, uh, we lubricated all the moving parts. We did not replace the brushes because they were barely broken in. It would be silly to replace them. I mean, it's so easy to get to it and, you know. Anyways, a set of brushes in those starters will last a, a good long time. And the ones that, that were in there are just not worth replacing. Uh, now we're going to give this whole thing a good uh, clean up with uh, brake cleaner, which is pretty much acetone based. I always use the non-chlorinated. It's not quite as potent and toxic when you're standing next to something that has been cleaned with that stuff so um, we're cleaning up all the outside surfaces i will mask off a few things so i will mask off the gear i will mask off this uh, point where the solenoid gets mounted i will mask off all the threads uh, because i don't want to have to put nuts over freshly painted pieces and then um, here, back here, we have lots of grease. Squeeze out, we have to clean this all up nicely so that our Rust-Oleum black will actually stick to it. Uh, all the grease that we put on the inside internal parts, um, you know, the little uh, uh, swivel point here for the fork that engages our gears, uh, that's all fine. You know, it's all internal. We just need to make sure we get all the external grease off so that the paint will stick to this. This has been degreased in a, in a parts washer. Um, and once it's painted, I think we can maybe manage to put a little bit more grease on this one here. No, nah, maybe not. I, I greased everything so well as I was assembling it. And we're not flushing, we're not washing it off, we're just wiping it off so that we have a clean surface on the outside and the paint job i mean seriously is a starter so it's gonna get rattle can black rustoleum and in 20 years when i restore the spike the next time it's gonna get another one you know so and this is all wire brushed um i wire brushed all the rust off so this should be all pretty good surface for paint i'm just gonna rub around you guys don't need to watch me and then we're going to finish this up today. So I now uh, have pretty much everything masked off. The little bolt ends, uh, that's where the, a mounting bracket will be mounted on. So I can't have the paint on there. Then the connector to the solenoid. And then the opening where the solenoid gets mounted. And if you want to have really nice crisp uh, masking lines around like pieces of machinery I wouldn't do that on a car but so I, I clean up my hammer so I'm not introducing more grease or grime to my starter here and then I'm just gonna tap around on this sharp cast iron edge and that will cut through the masking tape then we have a really nice sharp masking line so we're not covering up parts that we actually want to have painted it's a little hard to get here in the corner you can also help with a exacto knife or a cutter knife or a box knife utility knife whatever knife and then let's try to do the same here around the opening with a gears are in yeah that kind of worked the, the edge is just not quite as sharp around here but uh 
that will make the end result a little nicer it's pretty windy today probably will have to wait for a moment when the wind dies down before I start spraying or else I will have more paint on my truck parked out here than on the starter most likely there you go masking tape stuck everywhere and then I also mask off the front where the bushing is I just don't want to have any paint migrate in there so let's save see if we can get this nicely let's see come on here we go so now I have masking tape on all my fingers here everywhere all right so mask off and there's nothing really in the way here let's wrap this around nicely so we're not spraying against it and this puppy here also fold this up a little more I need to get a box knife real quick you guys wait a second so quick little modification of our masking job here doesn't need to be perfect <laughs> since we already talked about it it's just a starter it's nothing visible it's under a cover uh, but at least we can try to do somewhat of a good job right all right let's shave this off here a little bit maybe we can even just tuck it in like so I think that's just fine and then over here and get it off of there here we go and then tuck this in a little more Okay, I think we're just going to leave it like this. And now I'm just going to place it one orientation, give it a little spray, let it dry, flip it around and do the other side. I don't know if you guys ever have that problem, but I have gazillions of spray cans but not what exactly what I was looking for so I have high heat black which is like for exhaust manifolds but it's really matte flat black and uh, the starter was at least semi-gloss originally I wouldn't say gloss but semi-gloss but uh, yeah, I finally found painters touch ultra cover primer and paint also bonds to plastic fast drying indoor and outdoor um, how hot does the starter get unless you really have starting issues and your motor starts up pretty quickly up in there is pretty good air ventilation because it's also the air intake for your air filter I would say we're fine no advertisement they're not a sponsor but that's the only semi gloss black that I could find yep black and it's rust-oleum you can paint it provides twice the coverage wood metal plastic blah 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 rust-oleum general purpose paint general purpose that's where we're at and i'm gonna do a thin you know we're not gonna have a half an inch of paint on here
fast drying is good too. Okay. So now it's drying time. You want to watch paint dry or we're just going to pause you here for a second, huh? Okay, the wind could die down here for a second. That would be great. Come on. Wind die down. For a second. Windy today to do that kind of stuff, and we're doing it anyways. Most of the paint ends up on my t shirt, probably. Oh, oh, what is it called? A lull in between the gusts, and then sitting out here in the sun is pretty good for quick drying time, even though. Heat on those rattle can paints doesn't really help. It's more the evaporation of the solvents that's in there. I think that's it. I don't think I missed the spot. No. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. Yeah. All right, guys. So it's painted. It's black, it's semi-gloss. I'll let it sit there until it's completely dry and then I will peel off the masking tape and then show you the final result. And this is gonna eventually go into my motorcycle. Um, in the beginning of the video, I mentioned that, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I, I have two starters. One is currently in my bike and one is this one. The one in my bike is a, is a slash five starter which is a 0.5 horsepower and this is a little newer one which is a 0.6 horsepower i had a very uh, slow starting or a slow cranking issue and it was really uh just caused by wear and tear of the on the starter so i pulled the the one out of my bike out cleaned it up lubricated all the bits and pieces and it's working fine now it's cranking much faster it was really just uh all dry the, the the bushings were like so dry and, and and squeaking almost the brushes were also fine cleaned up the commutator put it back together and it's working fine this one is the better one and that's why i wanted to go through the trouble of putting new bushings in and clean it up and paint it and uh and that's eventually going to go into my bike and then see if the 0.6 horsepower is cranking faster than the 0.5 horsepower they're interchangeable different part number but it's pretty much the same uh, starter. All right, guys, um, I will show you the end result later. So here, guys, here it is. Reassembled, looped up, new bushings, everything painted except the, uh, the starter solenoid, which, you know, is zinc coated, so why paint it? Uh, all the contacts cleaned. Uh, this is now a functional, not fully rebuilt because it still has the old brushes in it, but a clean commutator, cl a clean um, rotor, everything is clean in there, freshly looped up and functional. So this is going to go in a box and then when I have time, I'll throw it in my bike. All right, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video about rebuilding a um, airhead starter and uh, yeah. Keep wrenching, uh, you can do most of the work on an airhead yourself if you put your mind to it. Alright, you guys hang in there.
give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care.